In this video, I'm going to show you how to put math expressions and math equations in Canva designs. Canva is an Australian graphic design platform used by millions of graphic designers all around the world. From a teaching point of view, you can create presentations, videos, PDFs and a lot of other graphic designs in Canva. However, there is one issue with Canva that there is no math equation editor available inside Canva. You cannot write math expressions and math equations in Canva. In this video, I'm going to show you a workaround by using which you can put math expressions inside your Canva designs by using high quality, sharp SVG vector images. SVG is a format which provides you very sharp images that we need for writing mathematics. And the slide which you are looking at behind me was created in Canva. And let's see how I put these math expressions in my slide. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos about online educational technology tools available to teachers and students. If you are interested in this topic, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. So to write these math equations, what you need to do is in Google, you type code cogs, press enter. And this is the website where you want to go online equation editor stand alone. Click on that. And now in this area, we are going to write our math equations. All these tools are available here. Almost every math equations can be written here. So let us say I want to write this equation. So it is a cube root and then n plus and then square root inside the cube root. Now to write this equation, I hover over this area and I click on this nth root and as you can see when I hover over this I can clearly see how this should be written. So I can have the mathematical form and the visual. This is the visual and underneath is the mathematical way I have to write this. So inside the square bracket I have to put n and inside the curly brackets I have to put whatever I want to put inside the nth root. So I click on that. I want 3 here and inside this I want n plus and then the square root. All this I want inside this cube root. So therefore inside this curly brackets I type n plus and then I select this is square root and inside the square root I need n square plus 8 and I have to write n square but if I hover over this x raised to the power a I can see that in order to write x raised to the power a I have to type x hat a so in order to type n raised to the power 2 I should be typing n hat 2 so I click on that and I type n here then hat 2 n square plus 8 this is I want, what I want inside and I can see the result of this expression in this area. And because this is what I need, so I am happy with this. So in this way, it's not very hard to understand. Once I get the desired result, now I have to download this image. And this is the download button. But in this area, there are various formats in which I can download. SVG is a vector format. So I select SVG and I click on download. You click on show in the folder and then you copy this highlighted file control C and now I place it on my desktop with control V. This is the file. Now inside Canva I click on this upload. I click on upload media and from my desktop I click on this and click open. And now this is the file which is opening. I click on that and no, I can place it anywhere I want. Let's say I want to place it on this side and I can change the color of this file to white because it looks good in white color if I put it on a darker background. So this is how, so this is how I can insert math expressions in Canva. Similarly, you can write all these equations. I'm not going to make this video lengthy so I just delete this and one thing I would like to show you is that if for example I increase the size of this image as you can see that the sharpness stays the same. This is because this is a vector image and it stays extremely sharp. So this equation editor works on LaTeX equation 
principles. I have 30 minutes video on LaTeX equations which you can find on my channel in which I explained how LaTeX equations work. You only have to understand few LaTeX commands and after that you should be able to write these equations by yourself. And now if you want to create tutorial videos in Canva, for example, for teaching mathematics, this is the video you want to watch. So I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.